Praises be unto him, glory and honor, and wisdom, dominion, and power be unto him. God is truly amazing. We are alive this morning. We see a new day that we never seen before. And I'm truly grateful. As I sit here this morning, I must report to you victory through the power of Jesus Christ. I am a living testimony this morning that I can praise the most high God. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful this morning for even the priors, the songs, everything that has been taking place since morning. I am truly grateful for the love of God. I, I know the Lord want to say something to somebody this morning. I'm going to speak a few minutes out of the book of Psalms 46. And I'm only going to read a few verses and then I, 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 I say what the Lord wants to say this morning. And the first verse is saying, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the hurt be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters dear of roar and be troubled, Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams, we have shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. Glory to God. I could have read further, but I'm going to stop there for a few minutes because... Uh, uh, we have proven the Lord so many times. And I'm going to use in the fifth verse for a subject, God is in the midst. God is in the midst. And you can tell yourself this morning, whatever you're facing, that you can tell yourself, slap yourself and tell yourself, God is in the midst of my situation, my God. And he will never leave and he will never forsake. Glory to God. And when we... Talk about the midst. You can know that in the middle, in the center, in the center, whether you have joy or, or, or unhappiness, whether you have joy or peace or war, whatever the situation, good or bad, happy or sad, God is in the midst. How would you say that, Pastor? Well, when I read about David, David the Bible say is a man of God own heart. David was a worshiper. Oh my God. I can just imagine when the Lord, uh, when David sit, he may be under a tree, a mango tree or apple tree, whatever it is. And he would have taken out that up. I can see and imagine how the Lord just set himself ready to hear the worship coming from David. David was the sincere worship and a great musician. Oh my God. And I can just imagine how the Lord feel with us now. We would have put our hand at our jaw. We would have said, wow. And we close our hands and we close our eye and we would have just listened to how this man was singing and playing to the glory of God. I can just imagine how heaven feel. I can just imagine even when God said to the, the, the angel, she, David is down there is about to worship because what I can just imagine that heaven open. Uh, and, and when I look on the life of David, he, he was such a, 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 a man that God loved. Despite of his weaknesses, despite of his shortcoming, he was the God-fearing man. And when I start to look in the Bible, and I, I don't know if any of the preachers find that, but I, I don't find another man in the Bible of enemies like this man. He was the most loving man, he concerned, caring, but yet he has so many enemies. My goodness right at his doorstep, right in his home, right in the church, my goodness, he, right in the, the, the people that was around him, there was enemy all around him. But the, the thing that I'm looking on as David, uh, on David that 
He didn't lose his praise. He didn't lose hope. He didn't lose any trust in God. He never gave up worship. He never put down uh, the harp and let dust full over it. I can just imagine you in every time, every situation, every circumstances. He was right there. His harp, I don't think any dust was on that harp because he played so often. Oh my goodness. And no wonder one of the psalmists said that he said in one of the psalms that I will bless the Lord at all times and his, his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. And how can you praise God in a situation. How can you praise God when the bills are due? How can you praise God when a doctor gave up on you? How can you praise God when uh, your family is about to, to, to put outside to be evicted? Oh my God, your only child is about to sentence. How can you praise God? Hallelujah. When there's so many chaos is in your life, but David didn't hear one less of anything. He would bless God all time time, every time, anytime, anywhere. He didn't care who or she or the old lady. He didn't care nothing. He have a praise that is stirring up in the inside of him. And David had gone through so many things that he lost family and he still seek God. He still question God. He still connect to God. What are you saying this morning, Pastor? I am saying that every one of us this morning, we can write on the paper how much thing we are facing. But I come to tell you this morning that despite of what you're facing, God is in the midst. Is in the midst. Is in the midst. Whether your home turn upside down, is still in the midst. Oh my God! And uh, when when David run away even from his, 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 his son he ran away from Saul and the, he, he could have killed Saul he have time he have opportunity then he could have wiped out Saul my goodness but he still look up to Saul as an uh, the anointing one of God oh my God and I believe he would sit one place and when he when we look on the Psalms and he would have write the song God is our refuge. God is our strength and a very present help in trouble. When you look in Psalm 91, he said, For in the time of trouble, he will hide you in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle will he hide. And he will set you on a rock, and your head shall be lifted up round about your enemy. Let me tell you this morning, church of God, hallelujah, somebody may laughing at you, somebody may mocking you and jeering you, somebody may put you down lower than where you are, somebody may devalue you, and people may subtract you and divide you and say all different things about you. No wonder one of the scriptures said, blessed are you when men shall revile you and prosecute you and say all manner of evil against you. He tell you this morning to rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Glory to God because great is your reward in heaven. I come to tell you this morning, my God, whatever you're facing in your life and you feel like all hope is gone, you feel like life is whipping you left, right, and center. My goodness, it's time. It seems like every, every time you try to do good, evil presents itself. But I want to let you know this morning, doing all of these things, God is in the midst. Oh, hallelujah. God is in the midst, the midst of your crisis. Oh, your husband moved out and left you, but God is in the midst. Your wife being sad to disrespectful to you, but God is in the midst. Your children become so disobedient. One gone left, one gone right. One leave and gone, then a horn and so on. But God is in the midst. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And when I look at the life of David, even his son tried to take the throne from him, but he, he never give up on God. Can I tell somebody this morning, hold on on God, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through. There's a song that we always sing, and it's a song of assurance that I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in his hand. I want to let you know this morning, your life is in the hand of God. Your trouble that you're in 
that's at your doorstep. My God, you, your life is in the hand of God. He is in the midst of your situation and he will never let you down. He's God to his word. In Psalms 27, the assurance is that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid? And listen, he said, when the wicked, even your enemies came upon you to eat up your flesh, they stumble and fall. Why? Because God is in the midst of your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And this morning, as I stand here, as I said, time is short, but uh, I want to share this with somebody. Yes, it can be for one person this morning, and it can be that you read the Psalms all over and all over again. God come back to remind you this morning that he is your refuge, he is your strength. Is your strength, is your shield, is your hiding place, is your buckle axe, is your strong tower, is the one that build a fence around you and the gates of hell can never prevail. Yes, some arrow is pointing at you. Yes, some people shooting spear at you. Yes, some mouth is talking about you. But the Bible say, even weapon that is formed against you will never prosper. And even tongue that speak it against you will be stopped. God know how to stop the mouth of the lion. He know to stop the amount of the beer he know how to bring you through everything that your face is because he is god glory to god and let me tell us something brethren oh my god this man was so sincere he was so sincere that God passed him and recommend him to be a man of his own heart. In other words, God saying, whatever David did, I would do this. I would do that. And whatever I do, David will do it. He's a God-fearing man. I can tell some of this morning, rise up, man. Tell yourself uh, you are not a loser. Tell yourself you are the victory and you have the victory to your Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because God is in the midst of of your life glory to god and the second verse is saying therefore will not we fear though the earth be removed though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea oh glory to god i don't have any of some sea um experience and as big as that ship is when that wave start to uh move that big ship would have rocked and your thought is going to turn over but it's still going on uh can i tell somebody this morning despite of the wave trying to overpower you he god is in the midst i remember one of the time when jesus was in the boat sleeping and there was a storm comes up and uh, they were so afraid and they went down and wake him up and say, master, master, we perish, we perish, we're going to die. Master, master, if you don't wake up, everybody on the ship going to die. But they forget that he is the, the master of the wave, he's the master of the sea, he's the master of the wind. Glory to God. And while they were bickering and while they were screaming and while they were, 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 were in such fear, Jesus come up and speak to the wind. Oh, I want to let you know that the wind of hears. And when Jesus speak to the wind, the Bible say it was a great calm. Glory to God. One man come to him and say, what manner of man are you? Even the wind and the wave obey you. Yes, because he's a master of everything and he's in the midst of your situation. Yes, you cry all night long. Yes, your pillow wet up with tears. Oh, yes, sometimes you don't know where to turn. You don't know. There's a song that sings that I cry to the rock of ages. I don't me if you need hiding this morning god is able to hide you god is able to secure you god is able to set you free god is able to cover you with the righteousness and of his right right and of his righteousness and you will never fail you will he will never let you down he's god to his word glory to god glory to god and the water is scripture is saying again and though the river, there is a river, the stream we have shall make glad the city of God. Hallelujah. Let me go back to the third verse. It says, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. And some of you that work, grow up in the country area, when those rivers overflow, you cannot go in there. 
you cannot. And a lot of people practice to go across. <laughs> they practice to go, go across, and many times they lost their lives. Some of them never found again for the rest. They never find them. Family only crying. They never get even a piece of bone to bury it because the water took them. And the water is saying, though the waters just roar and be troubled, though the mountain shake with the swelling of the river up there, raging, raging, just like when the Bible tells you about Jordan River, bank to bank, nobody can go cross over, but God have a way to cross you over. Yes, your Jordan stand before you this morning, but God have a way to bring you over your Jordan. Yes, your Red Sea is standing before you, and your fear is a about to take your life and when you look to the left or the right you see mountain on both sides but God is saying this morning I am in the midst of your situation glory to God and there is the rivers the stream of shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high God is in the midst of you God is in the midst of you you shall not be moved let them say what they want to say the song says let others go on doing what they want to do but it makes me happy to sing about you. And a lot of time when people are going through this storm, they believe that God is draw away from them. Can I say this morning, only God have the last say in your life. He have the last word. He is the one that will make the last decision for your life. Yes, yes. And you may go to the doctor and the doctor tell you, this is what happening. There's nothing I can do. Go home, sit down with your family, make peace with them, love them, show them everything that you, you want to talk to them because you ain't going to make it. But in God's book, that's not what God said. God don't sign that. He have a plan. And if he say you're going to live to be 80 years old, you will live to be 80 years old. That's the promise of God. May I love a scripture in the same time. One said, nine one said, oh, he has set you and I because you are known his name. And let me tell you something, church of God. During, amen, the midst of your crisis, let the fear of God be in you. Let the love of God be in you. Don't lose your praise. Don't lose your prayer life. Don't lose the moment with God. There's a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. Amen. Don't lose those moments. Yes, you may lose the best friend. You may lose the, the best family member that was close to you. But let me tell you something, church of God. God is closer to you more than anybody else. And I can say this morning, you can go to church today and lose the dearest person, lose the dearest brother or sister that it was in your life and that you thought was your best friend. Glory to God. But God is saying, hey, don't worry about that. I can be a friend forever. Friend forever. Some friend is sometime friend. You have some friend that, amen, just like a leaf on a tree. Uh, hey, some is like a branch on a tree. Some people, friends are like, amen, outside root. But you know what God is saying this man? He's the one that firm in your life. He is the one that have control in your life. Don't lose your testimony because of the behavior of somebody. Don't lose your testimony because of the, maybe the pastor talked to you a certain way. Don't lose your testimony because of somebody bad drive you going to church this morning. I want to let you know everything that your face is in your life. God is in the midst of your life. Glory to God. And God is saying this morning, amen. The hidden rage, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the hurt melted. I can I tell you this morning that in the verse 7, he said, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. There's a verse of scripture I always use when I close service. Amen. If God be for us, who can be against us? Whoever you are this morning, glory to God. If God be for you, if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. Sometimes you're going to be like you're in a, 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 a web into a lion's den. 
Daniel was there and God take him out. And God is saying, I am the same God. He's the same God. He's the same God that hope up blind eye. He's the same God that make dumb, dumb to talk, crippled to walk. He's the same God that raised up Lazarus from the dead. And he's the same God this morning that is in your life. Yes, you wake up this morning and the songs you may not feel him, uh, but you are not alone. You're hurting now. Hallelujah. And the answer, but the answer is coming. And the word I'm saying is my whole on to Jesus, ride out your storm. And you know what? This morning, despite of the storm, you are not the one that's riding it out. God is riding because the verse of Christ says, He is in the midst. He is in the midst. Glory to God. He is in the midst of everything that your face is. And He said, The Lord of hosts is with you. the confident that. David having himself to know, despite of what I'm facing. Oh, yes. Despite of what I'm facing, Saul is running after me and he's trying to kill me. Despite of what I'm facing, he take away my wife and give to somebody else. And now he give me another one saying there's going to be a thorn in my flesh. Sometimes people give you something to be torn in your flesh and you may not know it. Ah, glory to God. But I'm saying this morning to our believers, my God, let me tell us as sure as long as you call yourself a child of God, there are going to be things you're going to face is a, a storm. You're going to face is a turbulences. You're going to have a hurricane in your life. But God is in the midst. He's in the midst. There was a song that I always sing. And it said, though the ship may be rocking and the sail may be torn. E Amen. You will rest in the eye of the storm. Amen. There's a verse that says, when the wind and water rages, and the billows begin to roll. The blessed rock of ages sing peace to your soul. Can I say this morning, in the midst of your situation, there is peace. There is peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. There is peace in the midst of your crisis. There is peace, my goodness, while you're going down the road and somebody making mockery at you, they laugh at you, they scorn you, they scrutinize you, and they do everything to make you feel belittled. I speak to you this morning that God is in the midst of your life. Glory to God. And whatever your face is, whatever you're going through, amen. The song, surely see the singing song, he will fix it for you, for you know just what to do. Let him fix it. Let him fix it. And sometimes you get up, you feel angry, you feel miserable, and you feel like everything, all hope is gone. You don't know where to turn. Have you ever been into a situation that you feel, and when you go, there's no door to come out, there's no window, there's nothing. You're trapped into a situation. Even that situation, God is in the midst of it. He's in the midst. Hallelujah. He's in the midst. He's in the midst. When man don't believe you, he's in the midst. If when you give the best of your service and telling the world that the Savior has come, don't dismay when men don't believe you. He's in the midst. He's in the midst. Hallelujah. He will understand, say, well done, well done, well done. Ah, there's one more verse I want to quote to you this morning. The 10 verses say now, be still and know that I am God. Pastor, why are you talking about I must be still when hard hell break loose in my life? Oh, can I be still? Oh, can I be still when I am about to bury my two brother? Oh, can I be still when I'm about to bury my mother, bury my sister or brother? How oh, can I be still? Hallelujah. When, amen, the landlord knocked at my door and served me notice and I don't know where to turn. How can I be still when even the place that I worship, it seems like everybody is against me. How can I be still? How can I be still when I don't know where my son and my daughter is? How can I be still when my wife walk out and left me, my husband walk out and left me and treat me like I'm a piece of trash? God is saying this morning, be still and know that I am God. He is God. He is God to his word. He's not like the president will drive with limousine and, uh, and come and promise you uh, harm on a leg. He's not like Congress, amen, that will come and tell you, yes, I'm going to build up your community. Yes, I'm going to fix your road. God is not like that. God is a God to his word. 
glory to God. And David, amen, when he, when he, when he lost his, his wife and children and all the wives were taken away and they were about to stone him, he encouraged himself in the Lord. You know, many times you have to make a platform when you're facing things like this, because let me tell you something, you have to learn to preach to yourself. You have to learn to testify to yourself. You have to learn to encourage yourself. You have to learn to sing a song of over to yourself. You have to learn to get down in the city and cry unto God. No wonder they said, cry unto the Lord and he heard me and delivered me out of every trouble my goodness and when they attack him amen the bible say he he run by d of i run um through a troop and leap over wall david have to jump over wall running away from his enemy sleep in cave sleep he have his nice bed he have his nice jacuzzi he have everything for his comfort and he have to run out of his house because of the enemy on him and despite of the enemy None of us this morning have the amount of enemy that David have and his stand. And David is saying to us this morning, hey, I go through it. Yes, man. I use my hand and tear lion and beer. I use slingshot and I shoot Goliath. Glory to God by the power of the Lord. Amen. And you can do the same thing. Uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Can I tell somebody to be still this morning? You question yourself. Should I go to church? Oh, God, I'm hearing the same thing. I am in the same thing every day. I'm hearing the same thing. There's no change. There's no, it seems like we're not moving forward. And I'm so discouraged. I'm so depressed. I can't afford to go back and take back the same menu. God is saying this morning, be still. He's saying this morning, be still. Because he's God. And I want to let you know, God have a set time to do things in your life. I was just, I was studying on the word patience and patient have so much timely thing. Even when you think you waited enough, it is not God timing. You may wait 10 years but the 10 years is not God timing. Somebody only wait only maybe for four months, six months, one year. When you have to wait for 10 years, then guy, why Pastor give just wait for three months and I'm waiting 10 years and it don't work? Because God timing is different from for you. There's process that you have to go through. There's storm that you have to learn to weather through. And sometimes you're facing some things in your life because God is teaching us something. He's teaching you how to fly. He's teaching you how to, amen, you know, be firm. He's teaching you how to, to secure yourself in him. And your faith have to reach there for that. So this morning, before I get off the line, I want to let you know, be still. Be still. You get up this morning, you find out your children don't want to go to church. You find your husband don't want to go to church. Your wife don't want to go to church. Be still. Be still. Yes. Don't think that you're going to use flesh to deal with these things. Ah, um, the man of the house and this body, he got to go this way and all. It don't work that way. Let the Lord, it, amen, whether you're through the storm. He says in the midst of it, amen, hallelujah. And for John's sake, you hold your peace. Ah, uh, yes. And let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord direct you. Let the Lord bring your truth through all of these things because he's saying, I am God. I will be exalted among the Eden. I will be exalted in the earth. You got to ask the Lord. Cover me, Lord. Extend the body of your mantle over me. Cover me, Lord. And help me to stay focused. Help me, Lord, to trust you. No matter what the situation is, help me to trust you. Help me. Help me this morning to put my faith in you. Glory to God. Help me this morning to follow where you lead me. And help me, Lord, to hold on to my praise. Help me, Lord, when I go into your courts this morning, I will enter in your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Help me to be thankful unto you and bless your name because you are in the midst. You are in the midst. 
from Pastor Go right down to the lowest this morning, from the pulpit to the pew, God is in the midst. Hallelujah. And he have a set time when he's going to say to your situation, peace be still. He have a set time when he's going to say to your help, be healed. Do the sickness and disease, be healed because he's in the midst of your life. I pray the blessing of God on you this morning. I pray that God embrace you this morning. I pray that God will minister to you, speak to you, because his voice makes a difference. And when he speak, he will release your troubled mind. I pray that God open up heaven over your life this morning and pour fresh water up you and give you assurance to know that I am in the midst. He's in the midst. He's in the midst. Yes, you may discourage. Yes, you may feel stressed out, you feel burnt out, and you feel like you're not going headway. You feel like you're stuck into that situation. Hunger take you over. Resentment take you over. My goodness. And you want to hate somebody. And you want to curse somebody. And you want to fight somebody. God is saying this morning, I am in the midst. Be still and know that I am God. God bless you.